this prediction that's right up here. Uh, or just yell at Larry Brooks like every other New York Ranger. <laughs> This has been a topic I've been trying to bring up, and I've been trying to get this on the the on the mark editorials for a while. Um, I still haven't been able to, so uh, you know what? I'm going to do it today, and it's addressing how Henrik Lundqvist ended his career as a New York Ranger. And we take a guy who came into this organization in 2005, 2006 season, was nominated for the Vesna Trophy. For the, the first goalie that was nominated, I believe, since Mike Richter and since John Van Beeswerk won it in this organization. And uh, those were both 10 years apart. Um, but this guy revolutionized or revitalized, I should say, the Rangers goaltending position. And, and then he was a mainstay in this team all the way to last year. Now, Igor Sesterkin was knocking on the door. We knew this. And Alexander Georgiev was, uh, he was holding firm as a nice second place uh, or backup goalie. And a good project, too. But the way Henrik Gonquist was treated from Sesterkin's call up, even though he was helping to try to mentor the kid, and all the way through the final month of his career as a New York Ranger, where he had one start, one. And it was after they nearly burned out Georgiev and then he got lit up like a Christmas tree to the Philadelphia Flyers and Madison Square Garden. And then nothing for the next two weeks and COVID hits. That's the end of Henry Longquist's career as a New York Ranger. And I can't help but just say not everybody gets to be John Elway. Not everybody gets to be Jerome Bettis. Not everybody gets to be Ray Bork. Not everybody gets to lift the Stanley Cup as your final moment or win a championship. Dave Andrewchuk is another one. But the way that this ended, bungled, uh, that moron of a head coach, uh, that now I can look back and say that. And that he, he just didn't... Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, it's not my dog for once. Uh, but it, it, David Quinn really bungled the end of Henrik Lundqvist's career. And Henrik Lundqvist is a lot more than a footnote that David Quinn is going to be in Rangers history. And it's it's one of those things. Show some respect. Like the Mets did it a few years ago, at least with David Wright, giving him those last two games, even though he really physically couldn't do it anymore. Um, and it's just... It's now. I think he's definitely going to be Okimo Timonen, who was also able to hoist the Stanley Cup at his last minute. Oh, by the way, Sean, your comment. I'm going to get to that after we do the editorials. But it's it's just the guy really deserved better, and that's the only way to to keep on saying it. Henrik Lundqvist was the backbone of this organization for well over um, 14, 15 years. Did they have to rely on them during the rebuild? Of course not, because that's what wasn't what they were going to do. But it's just they didn't make the Stanley Cup Finals without Henrik Lundqvist. They weren't the number one team in the East in 2012 without Henrik Lundqvist. They didn't make a lot of playoff runs without Henrik Lundqvist. Up until 2018, Henrik Lundqvist played zero games eliminated from playoff contention. And that's who we had. So again, all the fans need to appreciate uh, yeah. And then, th then, Lundqvist gets the uh, the qualifiers against Carolina. The team doesn't show up. He actually, he went in, like, I think, two bad goals in game one. But he then looked pretty good. Like, the, the save he had to make in the third period of game one, where he actually had to move his blocker down in order to get there. Like, that was that was vintage Henry, Henry Lundqvist. And then just dismissed, bought out, that's it. He goes to the Washington Capitals. You th um, as I close this out, or, or we start the conversation about this, do you think Henrik Lundqvist is playing next year, Phil? No. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's a team that's out there that's going to want to take a chance on a goalie that's uh, going on 40 years old that hasn't played in a year and change 
And to be fair, he didn't look good in, in that very last year. He really didn't. Um, he looked like he was running on fumes. And you're right that he deserved the thing, but the team really screwed the pooch by giving him that long of a contract. I know that uh, Anthony and I have meant we had the conversations about Carey Price when he got that contract. Ugh. We all had the conversations about Sergey Bobrovsky, his contract. We've even mentioned him on here before. You cannot give a 30 plus year old goaltender, especially a 31 year old goaltender, a contract of eight years and high high average. And I get it. Henrik Lundqvist was the best goaltender in the, in the league at the time that he got his contract, but you can't give him all those years. Um, I was watching something on NHL Network, and they were talking about contracts. Um, and they said it was not... I Actually, no, I'm sorry. It was the hockey guy I was watching. And he said it's not the cap hit that kills you sometimes, but it's the term yeah. that really gets you. And especially with goalies, you, you, you just can't do it. And goalies are harder to move because, one, there's less positions, and two... The goalie markets are always the hardest to gauge because of the amount of teams that can be involved could be either abundant or they could be scarce and they could really come back to bite you. So um, I, it was a bad deal to give him those extra years. You would have stopped it at like 36, maybe 37 because he was good up until he now. I would say 36 years old. I mean, that that 2017-18 season, he was pretty good. Even the 2018-19 season where he, he turned he turned uh, 37, he, he was still good in that year. And usually, time has shown you, Rick DiPietro's just another story. That's just a completely different ball game there. But Henrik, like, time shows you that a lot of professional athletes, especially in hockey, usually have that real hard drop-off when they hit like 37 or so. 36, you can usually get a good year out of a player. They're still pretty good. Like Marc Messier was good in his age 36 season. And then after his age 36 season, he took a nosedive. I mean, Wayne Gretzky, um, his age 36, 37 season, 1998, was his last 90-point year. He was really good in 98. And then just that next year, it was just... Oh, Bob. I mean, look at... Look at uh, look at Zach, Zach Friede last year had had twenty like twenty five goals, and this year he was terrible. So yeah, and he's thirty six. So that's, that's about right. He's, he's he was 03, so he's our age. So he's thirty six. And yeah, you know, oh, oh, it happens. Yeah, it, it, it and no, Zach Friede is actually older. He's a year older than us. He was an eighty uh, four year. He's not an yes, eight. year older than us. But yeah, but it was the 03 draft. That's why. I, no, I, I get it, but you, he's still he's still oh, yeah, a year yeah. older. So it, it actually it actually further proves what I'm saying because that that 37 year when you when you hit that age, it's usually when that drop off starts. So um, I mean, it, hockey's a business. It's a business. At first, it, it doesn't matter what it is. Like, let's just say, for example, like you're running a business and you got a bunch of employees and you got one. <laughs> you got you got uh you, you, you got a business and one guy just isn't pulling his weight but he's a guy that's been loyal to you he's slacking off he's doing things that are det detrimental sometimes you gotta let him go and it's it's a tough decision because there's an emotional attachment to someone who's been around for a while but at the end of the day sports are a business and as cold-hearted as it sounds, Lundqvist was just not able to live up to that contract and that team needed space. So, yeah, does it suck seeing that happen to a guy that was important as Henrik Lundqvist is? Yeah. But just remember this. Brian Leach was traded behind his back days after he told Glenn Sather not to trade. Mark Messier was lowballed by the Rangers. The right move. But he was lowballed by the Rangers, so they could go after Joe Sackick in 1997. How much do I have to pay for the '94 Cup? Yeah, Dave Checkers. It, 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 yeah, exactly. And then, and then another one. You, you want one that's even more screwed up that Ranger fans seem to forget about? Because every time I bring this up, people are just absolutely baffled by the fact that they found out that this happened. But Adam Graves was traded to San Jose after a season in which his father and his son died in the same week, and he won the Masterton. 
So, I mean, this organization has shown that they don't even care about some of the guys that are up on the damn rafters. So, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I say my view on it. Yeah, it deserved a better ending, but at the same time, I think that you know, if if he would have not have been so demanding with staying in New York, like if he would have been okay with the Rangers trading him early on, it would have it would have went different. He would have been in control where he went essentially, and things would have you know transitioned a little better rather than him insisting he wanted to stay and then the Rangers playing hardball. But all right, well now you're not starting as much. Now you're a third goalie and. It just would have played out differently, and I get he, he didn't want to leave. He loved it there, but at the same time, you know, there's there's repercussions for that, and you know, and who knows? Maybe if he would have if he would have accepted to be traded earlier on, maybe he would have went to a team and he could have been part of something special and then got that ring. But just he remember, never wanted to, he never wanted to do it. Um, just remember, so, two teams wanted him. Dallas and San Jose both asked about him, and he refused. So yeah, so bad yeah, it. it it, it happens, but no, Mark, I do agree, he deserved a better ending, but at some point, you know, he, he kind of hurt himself by refusing to, you know, not move. And I get the loyalty, you love the loyalty. I mean, our friend Bill Wolf hates Ray Bork because of, because of what, uh, because of what he did. But, you know, the guy wanted to win a championship, yeah, I can't, you know, he, he can't And Bork was nowhere near that. it. What? Also was nowhere near it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. The the thing that I'll, I'll I'll say finishing up on this is uh, yes. By the way, Alex, we're we're just gonna it's just another thing we'll blame on David Quinn. <laughs> um, but it's also um, Henrik also had a loyalty. <laughs> Sean, this is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, but Henrik also had a loyalty to New York and New York City, and he wanted to be here doing his other things, raising his family. Uh, his daughters were still in school. Even when he was with the Capitals for the brief time this year, he was still um, living in New York. Uh, so that's why if he, if he there's a chance I think he might come back. And I, in one way, a selfish reason, I hope he doesn't play another game, only because he is the NHL record holder for most wins by a goalie who played with only one team in one organization because Martin Brodeur had to play those six games as a St. Louis Blue for some reason. And um, it's just, it, as soon as he plays for another organization, that's done. And, uh, you know, I, I wish him all the best in his health and everything. I think his, I think his legacy is intact. Intact with the New York Rangers. I mean, he's arguably the top five ranger of all time in my opinion he is. um I, and maybe even top three i don't know if i put him ahead of gilbert gilbert's the guy i always go back to and go gilbert and leach are the, they're the two and mess is up there but the mess was the guy that started elsewhere and then got in so uh obviously tell me what you think put it down in the comments below uh i was I would love to say just like the video for the sake of the video, but don't like the story because I, I still don't really like the story about this. Did you like the video? Of course you did. So why not check out some more of our content? You can check the playlist right here or right here. Your ideas are intriguing to me and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.